Welcome to Issue Tracker for Outlook and SharePoint. In this demonstration, we will explore how Help Desk Manager can work with Summary Reports Generator and the integrated OLAP Statistics tool. You will find both under the Tools menu in the Issue Tracker toolbar. The Summary Report tool can generate aggregated reports from the trouble tickets stored on your SharePoint lists based on different time interval. Time interval can be today, this week, this month, or last year. You can also specify a time period between two dates. Selecting a time period from this drop-down is the first step in generating a summary report. For example, let us choose this week to extract various reports from the trouble tickets. The second step is to specify the particular share a point list from which the report is to be generated on the tickets. You can choose the last option, All, to generate reports based on the ticket stored on all configured share point lists. In the third step, you will choose what types of reports are to be generated. Here, you have five types of reports. Tickets raised. Tickets resolved. Tickets ongoing. Tickets worked. And ticket due. The next step is to decide which help desk fields are to be included in the report. Here, you have a whole lot of choice of fields to include in your summary report. Most of the fields listed here are straight out of the help desk outlook form. However, there are some special calculated fields, such as open duration. For an ongoing ticket, open duration is the interval between ticket creation and the present time. For a resolved ticket, open duration is the interval between ticket creation and ticket closure. Resolution duration. It is the interval between ticket creation and ticket closure time. For ongoing tickets, this will always be zero. Elapsed duration. For an ongoing ticket, elapsed duration is the interval between the ticket due and the present time. For a resolved ticket, elapsed duration is the interval between the ticket due and the ticket closure time. Total cost is the cost of the time spent on resolving a ticket. This is obtained by multiplying the rate of technician or problem category or the ticket rate with the time spent on a particular ticket. Now, all you need to do is check the corresponding fields for inclusion. The tool will automatically remember your choice of fields in subsequent reporting. Though you could practically include all the fields, the more appropriate way would be to choose the relevant fields of interest that answers to the requirement of the particular reports you intend to build. Now, you are all set to generate a summary report based on the selected time period. Let us try to understand the summary report that is being generated. At the top of the document, the manager name and the current time are automatically inserted. The table here lists all the choose and fields in this yellow header. And those trouble tickets that fulfill the specified time period are arranged in rows and columns. You will notice in the last row, fields that have numeric or currency values are aggregated to give you a subtotal value. For example, here we have the total time spent as 135 hours and total cost as $4,664. As this is a graphical editor, you can easily format the report to your liking and taste. You can use different fonts, colors, and styles. Once you get the desired report, you can save the report to an Excel spreadsheet, XML, or web pages, and share with senior managements. Let us export to Excel and see how it looks like. As you can see, the statistical data are exported intact with the correct columns and values. Now, let us export to XML data file. So, if you have any further requirement for performing calculation or reporting, you can easily use this Excel sheet or the XML data file as data source. You can also print it by clicking this print button. Summary reports play a vital role in keeping managers informed about the state of the support requests and the help desk. So far, we have seen how we can generate many type of summarized reports based on different time interval. Now, let us explore a more advanced statistics and reporting option with this integrated OLAP tool.
There are two main OLAP controls to work on, namely, the OLAP grid and the OLAP chart. Each of this control is located in a tab. The OLAP grid control is comprised of a multi-dimensional table with expandable nodes. Unique features of this control allows for building reports of the exceptional level of granularity and complexity. This is the cube structure tree and list all the available measures and dimensions fields. Both hierarchies and measures have their own menus. Right-click will call the context menu, that gives you an option to place the element where you like. You can also filter the selected element or place it to the selected panel. This is the working area where the OLAP slice data is displayed. In its upper part, there is a menu for quick access to the frequently used commands. Now, let us try out some of the predefined views that are included in this tool. You can choose and load a predefined view from the file menu, and selecting Predefined Views. There are more than 20 views listed here, which are specifically designed for issue tracker. Let us analyze some of these predefined views. Here is the technicians and tickets report. You can see that the maximum number of tickets were assigned to John, followed by Monica. This is the technicians and cost report. Here, we can easily infer that the maximum cost computed on resolving the tickets is from John. This is the problems and tickets report. Here, we can also drill down the problem category to further get more summarized data on the problem types of the corresponding parent category. We can also modify this default report by adding few more measure fields. In fact, you can use any of the predefined report as a template for building your unique reports by simply adding new dimensions and measures from the cube structure tree. For example, you can add additional measures such as rate, service charge custom field, resolution duration etc. If you are only interested in the ongoing cases, you can hide the resolved tickets altogether. Add some calculated measure fields like open duration. Let us analyze this same cube on the OLAP chart by clicking the sync chart button here. While OLAP grid allows working with numbers, the OLAP chart allows representing the project data graphically. This gives managers a unique opportunity to analyze help desk data visually, dealing with charts rather than numbers, which is much easier to perceive. In this chart, if you move the mouse pointer to the top left corner, you can change the type of representation. Once you are satisfied with the reporting detail, you can opt to save the current state of the statistics to a view file. So, the next time, you can simply open this particular view file to get to the same state of statistics with the same number of fields in the panels and measures. This saves you from building your report from scratch and helping you do more to concentrate on the analysis. Now that we have successfully designed a report, we can save it for future reference or share it with others. If you click this drop-down menu, you will have the option to save the data snapshots in various image formats, or to Excel, XML, or PDF documents. Let us try saving some charts too. So, depending on the active view, the saved file would either take the grid data or the chart. You can also print your report to share it with others. Here, you can fine-tune your page and printer settings before printing. As we have seen, the way you can analyze and generate report with this OLAP tool is limitless. The simplistic point-and-click nature of this interface ensures that managers can easily achieve the high-level views of information they require in order to extract critical information and intelligence. Additionally, with this OLAP tool, creating reports destined for different management levels is a simple task and eliminates the manager dependence on IT personnel. This concludes this video tutorial. For more detailed documentation on using this integrated OLAP tool, you can refer to the help manual.